Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is sponsored by every dog that just comes yeah. running. <laughs> and Miss Posey Pig! Hey. Ellie, it's okay. <laughs> you want your friend now? Miss Posey Pig is ready to get up this morning. The very first thing she does is run and eat her breakfast, so we're gonna let her out. Oh, Ellie. We may or may not have a little bit of jealousy going on still. But Posey is having her breakfast. It is bright out today. Oh, holy moly. Anyway, welcome to today's video. We are headed out. We are beginning our Easter celebrations today. At Christmas time, we had five celebrations, you guys. At Easter, we have two. So we are going to go and celebrate uh, with Sam's family today. I might bring you guys along a little bit. We'll see what happens. I will take you guys down with me to do the goats. I'm going to go by myself because I need Sophie to get ready. I need Sophie to like look halfway decent and she needs time to get ready. That's the thing with only two bathrooms in a house. Everybody needs to have time in there. So while we're getting ready, it's like I can't get, it, the camera gets too dark or too bright. <laughs> so while we are getting ready to go um, down to do chores, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the advancement of the life of Posey Pig since she came here. I have a couple of videos I have on my phone of her bonding with her person. She loves me, she loves Sam. If I'm not available, she goes to Sam. Sam loves her too. Um, but her pet friend, her best pet friend ever, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of those videos right now um, and show you how their relationship is progressing. It's just so bizarre to have a pig in our house and to, to see pigs. Pigs are so gentle and so docile and so sweet and they just have such different needs than dogs who like to rough and tumble and wrestle and pigs are just not like that. So enjoy Miss, these Miss Posy Pig videos and I'll catch you guys in a little bit down at the barn. walking out of the living room today. I guess she wants to pee. Oh, get out there. Go out. Oh. So nervous. All right, I was gonna go down and do goats and then take her out, but apparently she needs to pee. <laughs> and she told me. I had this perfectly planned schedule <laughs> and it's gone out the window. When you have a lot of pets, sometimes things happen. Or if you have a lot of kids, we have a lot of pets. I don't know, I think more pets is better. <laughs> Every morning I take time to enjoy the sounds and the view. It might not look like much, but it feels amazing out here. Just a spring in general always just feels amazing. In fact, I've been trying to enjoy every single season and every time I come out, just looking around and taking those minutes, it's just, it's just so much for your soul. And then you walk into the barn and chaos. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Good morning. Whoa, somebody's sneezing. We're gonna be away today, so I'm gonna need you guys to all behave. I'm gonna need you guys to all treat each other kindly. So there is a hole in my cat food bag, which is very suspicious because my cat doesn't do that. This is scary. 
I've never seen Cricket be under there before and she's not moving. Cricket! Oh, she moved. Cricket! Oh, you know why? Oh, you guys, I didn't put her sweater back on last night. She's probably frozen. So when I bought Cricket, the barn she was in was heated like 15 degrees Celsius, which is pretty warm. I can't find my bucket. This camera is seriously annoying me. I can't get the colors right. Okay, so I need help with goat poop, you guys. I need help with goat poop. You guys know when you have animals and even babies and kids, you're always having to watch everything to make sure everything's okay. Well, I have been trying to change things up to make our goats as healthy as they can be. And when I first got them, they were really skinny. And I really struggle between skinny and conformation. So I feel like if you have a goat with bad conformation, like they're really tall and then they're really long, they're gonna look skinnier than if they're a little bit shorter, a little bit more compact and look nicer. So like uh, Winston probably will never look skinny. He has really good conformation. So that kind of thing. So I struggle with that. So every time I'm like, I'm very in tune to like looking at my goats and assessing their weight every single day. I assess weight like, I, it's like I, I have this tunnel vision for weight on my animals. I can see so minute changes. So I'm always on this journey to try and make sure that my goats are the ideal weight. So ideally they'll eat good quality hay, a tiny bit of grain, and that will be their diet. Like that is all they need. Just like horses, they need hay. They need roughage. So because my goats struggled with weight for so long, I went through this whole journey of trying to bring up their weight and um, now I feel like they're good, maybe even a little bit chubbier than, than they could be, than they should be, but they're in a good range for me. So I give them hay, I give them alfalfa pellets, which is really good hay for them, and I give them a, a little bit of grain. I was giving them a lot of grain and I've made a big change recently where I've cut down on the grain and increase their alfalfa pellets. Everything should be perfect, right? Right. Except for their poop is way more clumpy. It should just be little rabbit pellet-like poop. And instead, it's very clumpy. And I don't know if it's like because of the alfalfa. The more I increase the alfalfa, it seems like it gets more clumpy. I don't know. I don't know if it's because they're still getting too much grain. Like, I'm worried about their poop, you guys. Let's go, little man. Go ahead. Out! Shoot, I forgot to close this. Winston, come on. Oh gosh. Come on, Winston. Don't fight my Ellie. Out! <laughs> Out! <laughs> Little Cricket is definitely a goat that will always Make sure she has the food she needs. <laughs> oh my gosh, I missed it, you guys. <laughs> I need to get a picture of all three of those goats up on that stand. Out you go. I'm gonna get you guys some hay. <laughs> so adorable. just have the goats that we're keeping and it makes me sad because being able to watch all these babies run and play every single day just makes my heart so happy it's like it's like therapy it's like antidepressant drugs it's just like the most incredible thing and it makes me laugh to see Winston nursing from his mom because he's literally half her size like he's almost her size it's also hard for me to adjust to see our goats while they're losing their winter coat. Oh, looked so fluffy and so furry all winter and so big and wide the way I kind of like them. And now they're all looking so much thinner and I don't know, man, like, I'm obsessed with feeding our goats and none of them are fat. It just blows me away. Or maybe you guys can answer this for me. Like some things are just really hard to figure out by just reading or like on top, Hey, you be nice to my girl. So like on top, you can see, well you can't really see, but see how her sides get sunk in? 
That's what that's the part that stresses me out. Yeah, her belly almost hits the floor, so it's hard to understand. These boy babies are right after Winston. Leave her alone. She doesn't like that. She gets terrified of him. So one of the goats was in the barn, got in the barn when I was throwing hay. And Ellie was far from the goat, sitting at the door waiting to go. To me, that means somewhere along the line, she learned her lesson about goats. Anyway, I'm covered in hay, but we're getting ready. Chickens are done. Sam did the chickens today. I'm so grateful. And girls hopefully are ready. And we're headed to Toronto. Toronto is the big, huge city closest to us. It's about two, and a, two, two and a half hours away. And it has amazing shopping. It has amazing people. It has so many people. It's so huge. And as far removed from the country as you can get. So we're headed there for Easter celebrations with Sam's family. And we'll see you guys either maybe a little when we're there or when we get back. Sam did the pig today though. I've been the only one that's been able to do the pig, take her in and out. He did her. So that's amazing. We're taking Gabby's car? Yeah. Awesome. You guys, we are home. It was so nice out where we were today. But it's like a tornado outside right now. I'm gonna take you guys out there. Come on. Let's go outside and have a pee. Come on. Come on. I'm over here. Come on. <laughs> she loves her friend. Come on. Literally the minute we got home, all I can hear are all of our animals screaming. I hear the goat screaming. I hear the rooster screaming. Why is it so cold? I don't know. Windy. We literally have so many things to do. Like we're having our Easter with our family yet tomorrow. We're having it with my grandkids tomorrow and their families and my goal was to come home because it was so nice where we were and rake up this whole yard. I and I told my whole family like today when we get home we're raking up the yard so we can have a really nice Easter egg hunt out here. But now it's just way too crazy <laughs> out here. Too cold for us to be able to do that. <laughs> I can literally watch my pig run all day long. She's just so funny. Honestly, I was not expecting a tornado like winds, but I think that's what happens when you live on a hill. Come on, Posey. Come on, Posey, Posey, Posey. Oh my gosh. My pig has discovered chicken food. No eating chicken food. Come on, get out. No, let's go. No chicken food. It's bad for, bad for pigs. Go, <laughs> go. Go! No chicken food! <laughs> Go! <laughs> oh my gosh! Ah. Alright, so we are home and everybody's so excited to get back to their like daily things that they like to do. But jokes on them, today, tomorrow is our Easter celebration like I said and we have to clean outside or we have to clean inside and so today we are all gonna pick a room and we are going to scour it and make it clean. We're gonna make today count because tomorrow I'll be doing all the cooking so we need to get everything all cleaned up and I'll fresh. Clean the, I'll clean the table. No, no, no way, Missy. You're gonna clean the table and maybe this whole room and the kitchen. Whoever cleans the living room has to go underneath the couch and get all the dog I mean, toys. I'm not doing Don't you know that you're beautiful?